who wants to step out of their comfort zone? Well, that's a trick question. Nobody really wants to, but we all know we need to. We understand as a general rule, if we're going to expand, grow, and get better, then we need to do things that are outside of what we're used to doing. So today I'm going to give you three secrets on how you can start stepping outside of your comfort zone. Number one, if you absolutely had to do a thing, maybe you may not be able to do it right now, but if you had to do it, just do this as a thought experiment, what would you do? And, and when you start thinking about this, just opening your mind to the possibility, it tells you what your next steps would be. And if you ask yourself this question often enough and come up with enough answers, you'll probably come up with something that you can do right now, even if you can't do everything right now. Number two, risk versus inconvenience. When you're looking at anything that's going to push you outside of your comfort zone, ask yourself, am I looking at something that is a risk, meaning I could really get hurt or damaged or destroyed by doing this? Or is it merely an inconvenience that I am making seem bigger or more difficult or more dangerous than it actually is. All that is is your comfort zones, alarm system going off, trying to scare you into not doing that thing. And you have to learn to control that because it'll keep you in the same place. Number three, inspiration or desperation. Now, you need one or the other in life. You don't want to get caught in the middle. In other words, you don't want to just be feeling so complacent and blah about life that is not that bad and is also not that great. And that's how many people live. Instead, you either want to be inspired to go do something or desperate to go do something. But either way, guess what you end up doing? Something. That's how you get moved out of the comfort zone. Work on your game.